Oh man, every time the She-Hulk director Kat Cora opens her mouth, we get more and more nonsense. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of her most ridiculous comments yet about this entire She-Hulk situation because there's a lot of fans that are not happy with the direction that this show is going. Obviously, there's a lot of things that we can uh, pick from uh, from the trailers and everything else that showed this is going to be yet another woke feminist ridiculous uh piece of garbage coming from marvel and uh we're going to get into all of this because now she is using of course some of the same typical responses the same typical excuses that we continue to see from people in hollywood things about how you know misogyny continues to rule patriarchy and all of that type of ridiculous stuff so let's get into this entire story here she hulk director responds to cgi criticism it's very hard to win when you're making women's bodies what the frick? Okay, let's see what, what else she has to say here, because uh, that's just uh, a very t uh, slight taste of the nonsense that's about to follow. She-Hulk attorney-at-law director Kat Coro has responded to CGI criticism regarding the superhero's body. And of course, you know... It, it uh, uh, shortly after the trailer release in May, disappointed fans were quick to claim that She-Hulk wasn't bulky enough. Now that wasn't really the 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 only criticism that fans had. She just didn't look good, you know. After the trailer released, uh, she just looked terrible, to be honest. Like on screen and everything else, she didn't look uh, real. She looked completely fake and 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 just gar like garbage she just looked like garbage and um that was a lot where where a lot of the criticism came from as well it's very clear that they aren't actually trying to make uh she hulk seem you know appealing to the eyes or anything like that or or, or awesome looking or anything they're just continuing to look at it through the lens of woke feminism um, shortly after the show's trailer was released in May, disappointing fans were quick to comment on the quality of the CGI. Yep. Claiming that Walter's alter ego wasn't bulky enough. During the Television Critics Association panel on Wednesday, Coro addressed the criticism. In terms of the CGI being critiqued, I think that has to do with our culture's belief in its ownership of women's bodies. Oh my gosh, it makes me just cringe hearing this type of nonsense. That has fucking nothing to do with this entire show, okay? That has nothing to do with it. It isn't about us being uh, angry about ownership of women's bodies or anything like that. We just think that she looks like crap. And honestly, that means that the fans actually are holding you to a higher standard than you are. But you don't want to think about it that way because you are looking at everything through this weird woke lens where women can't be attractive apparently on screen. Which is just another unfortunate attack on women. I think a lot of the critique coming comes from feeling like they're able to tear apart the CGI woman. Well, I mean she, she looks like trash. But, you know, this is exactly the same thing that we've seen from other studios in the past, like uh, Lucasfilm, who, you know, when we started to criticize Star Wars, they said, why are you so racist? Why do you hate women? All these ridiculous claims, which had nothing to do at all with the problems that we had, okay? These are Star Wars fans that have been fans of the franchise for decades now at this point. Decades. And, and, you know, fans of films in the, 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 sh the series, the franchise, the Star Wars franchise, that have a lot of different female characters, black characters, or whatever else. But now suddenly, those same fans that loved all those characters previously um, are suddenly racist and misogynistic and everything else. It doesn't make any sense at all, and it doesn't need to make sense in their brains. In the woke brains, it doesn't have to make sense. All they know, know is that they have that they are just going to continue to accuse you because you don't like the trash that they're putting out. There's a lot of talk about her body type, and we base it on Olympian athletes and not bodybuilders. Okay, well, that's not what the character is, but whatever. But I think if we had gone the other way, we would be facing the same critique. Okay, well, you know, anyone can say can use that argument for anything. I think it's very hard to win when you make women's bodies. Mm, yes, yes, it's it's the women's bodies fault, everyone. Women's bodies. Um. So anyway, this is just another uh another chapter in Cat Coro and the nonsense that she continues to spout out, and uh you know 
it, this it's just it's just exactly the same thing that we continue to see coming from Hollywood time and time again, where they put out garbage, and if we don't like it, if we criticize their garbage, then they will then flip it around and say and use victimized tactics and say that we're being misogynistic or whatever else. It's absolutely insane. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.